What's up, everybody? It's Brian with you from the Game Cabin, and we are playing some more Civilization VI, continuing with our Mexican modded playthrough. And it seems like there's no way for me to not get the barbarians to spawn there. What's funny is I can actually see this tile because these guys are here, but I guess they end up moving in uh, in between turns. So what I ended up doing is instead of upgrading our galley, we ended up purchasing a swordman so I can help take them up there and hopefully uh, clear them out because that's just going to delay us. God, that's annoying. <laughs> that really is annoying. But we're just going to go ahead and hit next turn for now. Um, we're going to let the Barbarian Encampment spawn. Um, we can perhaps see uh, who ended up um, moving and why we lose vision of it and why the Barbarian spawned there. But yeah. In brighter news, brighter news, Leicester City scored. So now it's 1-1. Hell yeah. Um, almost have scored twice now since then too. Gosh, another one they just missed. Um, okay, so Harold Hadra finished building Forbidden City. Okay. Yeah, yeah. It's declared war. Saladin is getting more war declared on them. I can't literally see this tile anymore. Oh, uh, it looks like because Indonesia moved their Protestant. Yeah, that makes sense. I have open borders with them. Dang it. Hi. Uh, hearing that your people want to celebrate your rule. Nice job keeping them happy. Yeah, I know. Stirrups so we can now build knight. Except we have no horses. Yep, we have no horse. Oh, we have one horse. We have one horse. We don't have two horses. Maybe I should trade my iron for some horses. Mm, that's an option. Okay, so we need you to come up here and smash these guys in the face. Um, hi, Leon. Let's go ahead and I guess grab a library while we're down here. Could grab some ancient walls. No, I'm gonna grab some ancient walls because you're kind of out there in the middle of nowhere. So we'll grab some walls just for the defense. Um, we will go ahead and grab a monument. We could grab a builder and grab the pearls. A harbor, ironically, is really good <laughs> right here. Which is funny because I don't ever want to build. Like, I never want to actually build uh, ships here. Do we really want the harbor? Industrial zone is pretty trash. Um, It's not going to really get any better. So the other option to campus should we get plus two here? This would give us plus three, but you know, too late on that. Commercial hub? This would actually be a plus one if we built the harbor there. The other option is ancient walls and monument. Okay, he's right there. You know what, we're gonna throw it on ancient walls. Yeah, cause he is right next to us. We were actually looking at building right there. One, two, we need to buy that tile too. Freaking punk man stay out of my freaking land oh uh, we also need to buy up to the elephants one two three yeah we need to buy up to the elephants as well okay we have enough money that we can actually purchase this one so 190 we'll get that one i know we need to spend money elsewhere but grabbing my territory grabbing my borders i think at this point is more important um that one got cleared out so that's good oh we can actually bring you around because we have a canal city now Woo. You know what, let's actually just put you here. Let's just alert you inside the city. Yeah, I can't actually see through the forest, so there's no way to actually avoid. Ah, uh, well that sucks. So I guess we're just gonna put you here for now. Put you there. We could actually take this guy through Narmadal. Uh, Nanmadal. Yeah, that might not be a bad option for us. Okay, so. Limosa El Canal needs more housing. <laughs> Why is everything capped? I don't know. Uh, oh, that's our swordman. Yeah, our swordman we want up here. Where was the builder? I want the builder. Okay, so we can build some ha um some farms. Um, speaking of farms, you're still three turns away. Okay, next turn. We are getting feudalism. That's good. We got the hacienda in nine turns. We need an armory. Oh, snap. Armory is 780 gold. He wants one iron. No, 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 no. If I trade my iron for anything, it's going to be for horses. Just so I can build some horse units. The irony is, ha ha ha. Um, eventually, there'll be tanks and we need oil for that, I think. Yervan declared war on Gilgamesh and Saladin. Okay. It's like the same two guys keep declaring war on each other. Um. 14 turns. Doesn't help me. 
780. Well, here's the thing. We're making 145 gold per turn. We may actually be able to afford the armory pretty quickly. But like I said, I really want to buy up to the elephants. He still needs two more tiles. So you know what? Let's just hold off on this until if he grabs one of these, we'll have to buy the ivory. We can't wait on that. I don't think the AI really buys tiles though. So I'm not ex super worried. Dude, why are you bringing your swordsman way the heck down there? Uh, I hate you all. I hate everyone. We're going to bring you up here. Because I feel like this... No, I feel like... Wait, why can't we go through non-modal anymore? What? What? The suzerain is Peter. Aren't we allied with Peter? What the hell? Why can't we cross in there? And we can't go here because they put a freaking builder inside my territory. So I think I was actually going here, then here, and then around. So essentially now I have to wait an extra turn because they put a freaking builder in my territory. Cool. Oh my god, the AI is so freaking annoying sometimes. <laughs> uh, all I want to do is land my freaking units. Crap. Uh, we can actually, no, we actually can't go through your territory. Oh my gosh. We are just like stuck right now because of this freaking barbarian encampment. Oh my gosh. Uh, could this have been any more freaking annoying? I don't think so. And we immediately lose him. If we put a unit there, we immediately lose him. So we just have to wait for someone to actually come um, knock it out or until I can use move my units. If I have open, man, I feel like I should be able to share a tile here. Like, come on. North Korea denounced Egypt. Um, Several closely found situated natural wonder. granite peaks resembling tiger's teeth. Dramatic. Yeah. Seems like a really good tile, actually. Doubles. Yeah, doubles. Except it's way up here in the um, snow, the tundra, which isn't as helpful. Yo, can someone come help me destroy these guys, please? Uh, that actually is okay for us. We're good. Because we can go here. He can't get to me. Let's save and make sure. But I'm. Pr Let's just quick save. But we go here. He's now two tiles away, so he can't do anything about that. He can't get to me in time, and we can plan our city. He's probably going to, like, start attacking my city, but whatever. <laughs> my city should be fine. He should not be able to destroy my city. Okay. Okay. All right. We're, we're, we're starting okay. We, get, we got a chance. We got a chance. Okay, we, natural wonder. That was a mistake. Natural wonder was all one word. Can't really do anything with you till we grow. How long until you grow? Ten turns. And you're going over here to the cocoa. That's fine. We need you to just chill because I can't do anything. Put you here and skip your turn. And we'll go next. And we're trying to get enough money to buy the armory. We need like two more turns. Yeah, I think we'll actually have enough to buy the armory before the gunpowder. Uh, what? Pedro finished the Hagia Sophia. Come on, Lester. No, do not give up that. Okay, we good. We good. We good. Uh, yeah, I still have soccer on in the background, by the way, if you didn't know <laughs> i guess my earlier update of the score kind of gave it away it's one of those weird things because lester's playing the late game today normally i mean very rarely do they actually get the later game uh just because you know they're not all that good i mean they're what like ninth in the table right now 10th um but still they don't normally get the late game so usually i don't watch the late game i usually just watch them in the morning game well usually i watch the gold rush because uh, nbc has that stupid crap this year where not every game is free like you have to pay to watch some of the games i used to like um just watch lester or maybe i'd have gold rush on and then pull up lester on my laptop but no they don't let you watch any game this year so all right we grab this tile 
Is he gonna immediately notice me and start attacking at me? Oh, we just got rid of the encampment. Oh, <laughs> ah, that works too. Can I put you here too? Yeah, all right. That's actually really interesting. I didn't know that was a thing. I can't attack him. Can we just buy an archer? Buy a catapult. We actually can't buy a crossbowman because they're expensive. <laughs> uh, I don't know. We'll see what happens here. Can we buy walls? No. Can I build walls? What is this city, by the way? Maza. Where's the name? Can't see it. Maza. Maza Talan? Maza Talan? I actually don't know where that is. Maza Latan. M A Z A Talan. M A Z A Talan. I don't actually know where this is. I'm assuming it's more central. No, it's towards the west side. It has more of an Inca sounding name. Or sorry, uh, Aztec sounding name. Um. Oh, okay. It's not super far south, um, but it's straight on the west side. Huh, never heard of it. It's a Pacific shoreline in the state of Sonola. Uh, it's big game fishing, and it looks like a resort town, actually. Hmm. Okay, I dig it. Uh, what's funny is it's actually on the west coast, too. And if we call this the Pacific, then there you go. I really think I want ancient walls, but you know what? Ah, it's gonna take forever. Maybe we just get the greenery. Oh, we gotta buy up to the niter. Crap. Forgot about that. I think we gotta go for our armory, and then we buy the niter. And then we buy the elephants. I think that's... Or we buy this, we buy that, and then we just delay. Because we could just switch research here. And then just get the hacienda. Yeah, we're still good over there. And the city-states don't really grow that often. So I think we're fine on the niter for the time being. Can we actually build? No, we can here. So here's the actual good question. Do we need to build some swordsmen? Because this is only going to give us one source of niter. So we're not actually going to be able to build multiple swordsmen. Unless we have a second source of niter, but there is none nearby. That's awkward. Let's just throw down a granary for the time being. There's not a real good tile for us to be. Oh, uh, we want to farm. Okay. I think this is what we're going to do. I think we're going to go ahead and purchase ourselves a, another swordsman. And then I think we're going to go ahead and purchase the niter. And we're going to knock those out right away. So here's the thing. We can now upgrade him from a swordsman to a rifleman. Um, we can take you back home then. And then next turn, maybe we need to go ahead and buy the elephants. And then I think we're just going to save money for the armory for the time being. Um, we spotted barbarians. We know about that. We got a civic boost, feudalism. Oh, sweet. Oh, because we built a farm. Nice. Okay. And we're about to finish that. Okay, we good. We good. Get rid of you. Uh, America declared friendship with Germany. Okay, I'm cool with that. Jose Rizal finished building the Potato Palace. That's fine. America is friends with China. Australia's trading with Greece. Arabia's trading with Spain. Aztecs denounced Philippines. So much of this is just kind of like, I don't want to say worthless, but honestly, kind of worthless because it's not really affecting us all that much okay so what else do we still need to knock out In um, it's your we need to counts. renew our friendship with Rizal Claire friendship I don't think we want to be allies with you you don't really have any other allies either so I think we're good um, we do want our open borders though so please give me gold thank you we probably should check on our open borders we got a boost for In astronomy it's your vote we did counts. get farming so now our farms have a adjacency bonus. So hopefully we're gaining more food. These guys should have an additional food boost. I don't know if that counted yet. It may take a turn. Um, we can change policies. I think we're going to switch you back. Please, so we can gain more. Um, 
none of this really helps me right now because we still want the adjacency we still want the great scientist points now question is we should be getting close to our great scientist hey we actually passed everyone and we can't quite buy him yet. A couple turns we can buy him with the little bit of faith we have. Which we might as well, because we're not using faith for anything else. Um, question. You're working that one, but you're not working that one. Probably okay with that. Your production's really good down here, actually. Um, we finished, we fixed our, uh, yeah, we got tech boost for astronomy. Hermesilio needs more housing. Shipyard, I don't think actually gives us more housing, so that's not really gonna help that. Um, I think we're gonna go ahead and switch up from gunpowder though, because we're gonna be able to buy that, or we're gonna get it as soon as we boost. So, building university adjacent to a mountain. Ah, I think let's go square rigging. Again. Build a unit with a musket man. Yeah. Here's the irony. If I finish that current tech that we're currently researching, I could kill this guy with my musket man once I upgrade him. Yeah. We're gonna move these guys out and we're gonna start taking him over here and I'm gonna have you go with him. Man. So we're still a little bit of ways away from musket man. Oh. I kind of feel like we should wait on that because we will have that boosted before long, it seems like. Have the guild civic. What? I can't actually see this. Build two universities. Oh, God. Let's knock out astronomy. It's quick and easy. It's only six turns. Our science is really good right now. Um, we want the armory, but that's 14 turns. I think we have to go with the shipyard. Industrial zone, we can go plus one. The commercial hub, we get plus three right here, though, now. Which is nice is there anywhere else to put the industrial zone on the top of the bananas or we get rid of a farm which is giving us really good crap i think we got to go with shipyard we just need we need better production building two universities remember that was a boost for us we could purchase university but they're not cheap I think let's go ahead and grab the university. Oh, we're at 111 science right now. We might actually be leading in science. So 30, 64, 75, 80, 67, 80, 108. Yes, we are getting more science than anyone else right now, which is good. Um, although we still have to play catch up a little bit. So I need to leave you here, mostly because I need to protect my city because I'm moving my swordsmen out. Um, you're just gonna sit here for a few turns until we get the cocoa. Speaking of that, we did end up getting your stone, so let's go knock that out. And we can build some nice farms here and get some good adjacency bonuses. We probably want to build the farms of, eh, I mean, nah, 2-2. Two, two. Yeah, probably build some farms here. Honestly, like, farm, farm, and then um, tear this one down and get farm, farm, farm. Get these three farms right there, it'd be really beneficial. Or we tear this one down, but... Yeah, both of these are two ones. So it really doesn't matter which one we tear down. I don't think you get a lumber mill adjacency bonus. So this one we should actually build a lumber mill on. But probably these three would be really good to have. Okay. What else are we trying to do? We can't move with you, so we're going to chill there for now. We have a lot more units that we're just chilling with at this point. Um, Swordsman, you're just going to go ahead and fortify up, and we're going to hit next turn. Uh, Germany switch governments to theocracy. We are going for mercenaries, which is going to give us one more envoy. Heck yes. Which is going to give me plus two science in all of my districts. Yay. Or campus districts. Which is good. Um, Tamaris, we are no longer friends with, so we need to re-up that. We probably should go look for our um, open borders. Okay, I don't... It looks like she was moving into my borders. She has a lot of military units around here. Wow. Okay. Got a ship right there, too. We do need to upgrade you eventually, but I'm not too worried. Okay, so first things first. Hi. Can we be friends? Do not betray my trust. I promise I won't. <laughs> I am the one nice guy here in the game. I'm the one person not declaring war on everyone, just for the heck of it. Okay, we have open borders. Oh, Trajan, we lost open borders. Yo, open borders, open borders. Please, um, give me gold per turn. 
<laughs> Thank you. Uh, open borders, open borders, open borders, open borders. You don't like me. Open borders, open borders, open borders, open borders. I can't believe Kamir's still alive. I mean, we determined that he's still alive because um, the people who don't like him can't get to him, but still, it's pretty hilarious. Hey, do you want a delegation yet? Nope. North Korea always wanting to be isolated. Monterey needs more housing. Well, can't really do much about that. We have 300 gold. We bought the elephant tile already, right? No, we didn't. We need to buy the elephant tile. Please, thank you. We really need to look at getting some traders up over here. Now, it looks like we actually almost have a road to Toronto, so that's pretty good. Um, Grabbing a road in Oxicala over to Toronto might not be bad, or even to Leventia. Remember, one of our, that district, we need a trader out, so we actually need we actually need one of our trade routes to finish here. Leon, we will probably want to go for the university because it's not going to take long. How's our housing? Probably okay. Yeah, our housing's fine because we got fresh water. Yeah, let's go for a library and then go for a university. It's not going to take uh, that long. Um, Barbarian ended up dying. Looks like both Barbarians ended up dying. We need a builder here too. So we're going to move you here, and we're going to try getting over here to the edge. Who is this? China. Hopefully there's no settlers. Did you ever settle up here? I'm tempted to buy a settler over here and try getting... How long would it take you to build one? Returns. Yeah, never mind. <laughs> okay. Um, you just need to s actually, you know what? You're probably good to go explore. Do we need to actually explore though? I don't think so. It looks like we have pretty much the entire map explored at this point. Okay, so let's just bring you out here to help protect my, actually, you know what? I'm gonna trash this guy. We can kill him and get some XP or we can just get some XP from just, you know, beating him down at least. Um, we may, is the encampment still over here? It is. I think let's try moving out to come kill this encampment. Just cuz. Gives us XP, you know. Um, and we, like I said, we did want to kind of settle over here eventually. Now, one, two, three. We can't settle on either of those tiles. We could settle right here, which might not be a bad spot. Although, actually, we probably just want to go here. Get the river bonus. Get a lot of fish, a lot of tundra. Still not a bad tile. Uh, Spain declared friendship with Arabia, blah, 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 blah. Uh, Fran Arabia pillaged a shrine. Nice. Who's Arabia at war with? They're at war with a lot of people. I'm surprised they've not, oh my gosh. I wasn't, <laughs> they're, they're at war with the Philippines, the Japanese, uh, Khmer, Cleopatra, uh, the Scythian Empire, and uh, uh to, um, per Percules, Percules, man, one of these days I need to figure out how to actually say his name right. So they're at war with like half of the freaking world, it seems like. This is Japan. What did he pillage then? Or whose did he pillage is a better question. Almost looks like he might have been pillaging Greek. Japan looks like they have too many units over here. And those are all Brazil. Wait, this is Brazil right there. Never mind. How the heck did Brazil get right there? <laughs> okay. Sure. Go ahead, Brazil. Always like jacking other people's areas. Okay, so we killed you. There is a quad dream which would just get decimated by me. Yeah, I just one hit it. So we can get a ton of XP here. Nice. Um, you still need to wait one more turn or a couple more turns. Move you up here. Slowly getting to that corner. We could also just straight send him up here for the nighter. Twenty-three turns. <sighs> I think we have to go there. I do. And we just try saving enough money to buy it. 
yeah, 23 turns, it's just, uh The funny thing is they've not actually settled it. It's just weird. I find that so weird that they just haven't settled it because they even have a dude sitting right there. Um, but for now, let's wrap this episode up here. Hope you guys are enjoying it. If you are, drop a like, comment, let me know what you think. And as always, hit the subscribe button. Join the game, comment, share your support. I will see you guys next episode. Bye.